we are going to discuss about Route 53. By now, you understood what is Route 53. It's a DNS service offered by AWS. Uh, what I can do here is I can buy domains. But in our case, did I bought a domain from AWS? No. We bought a domain from GoDaddy. That means you can buy a domain name from many vendors. You can host as part of AWS using DNS management. In our scenario, we have a domain with GoDaddy. Now we are hosting in AWS by going to the DNS management under Route 53. Once you go here under hosted zones, when you create a hosted zone with a valid domain name, it will create name servers, SOA and name servers, startup authority and name servers. What is this startup authority will pay attention? You, it's very simple. You can understand easily. You're saying if somebody is looking for this, the request will go to where? GoDaddy. In GoDaddy, they, they check. What they check? Name servers. You should update name servers which are belongs to AWS. Means if you're hosting in AWS, means AWS name servers. How many name servers we have? Which one is a primary? How many BDMs we have in cloud binary? Business development managers, who is point of contact to you, right? Somebody called you said, hey, we are offering AWS DevOps. How many are there? Three. three members are there. Three. Why we have three members? In these three members, who is your point of contact? Three members are only one. Primary is only one. You see here, there are four name servers. Who is the primary for the SOA? 1137. 1137 is a primary. If primary is not feeling well, they are not coming to office. Secondary will be the point of contact. Even. even secondary, third one, even third one, fourth one. That means high availability. What is there in SOA? Nothing. Point of contact. So SOA has pointing to the primary name server. If the primary name server goes down. There are three more name servers are there. This is called achieving high availability. So this information you will update as part of GoDaddy. Now, customer is looking for you. How? Using a record. What is the C name? You understood how to create a certificate, SSL certificate. So this has SSL certificate. Now in this a record, whom you're pointing it? You pointed EC2 instance. You pointed load balancer, application load balancer. You pointed network load balancer. Now you're pointing to S3 bucket, cloud friend, and container. Like that, you can point it with an A record. Now I'll delete this A record. I'm deleting A record. So when I was creating this A record, it was simple routing policy. What you understood is simple routing. AWS has a route 53 service. They have routing policies. What is this routing policies? Now, you and me both are accessing a website called Amazon.com. You are sitting in Australia. He's sitting in US. I'm in India. Three people are accessing the same address. Are they going to get the same content? How? What is <laughs> That's called routing policies. Not only different content. See, three members across the globe. They are sitting in three physical locations. All these three members are accessing Amazon.com. But three members are getting different content. Not only that, I can restrict US customers. I can restrict UK customers. Or one more thing. Let's say I am from Paris. I am accessing Amazon.com. My request should not travel to all the way to North Virginia, North Virginia region. It should go to where? Nearest Paris location. That means Europe level, one data center. US level, another data center. Uh, Asia level, another data center. That means continent wise, I can divide my content. Servers. Why, why are you trying to not to not sending a user to all the way to North Virginia? To achieve high availability, low latency.